as you're taking a look at these artifacts here on Indian Trace, you're going to see something different. If your eye is trained, you're going to pick it up real quick. Uh, I'll probably title this video something like To the Core. For all of these pieces, and they come from a specific uh, display that I have, had the cortex on them. And that makes a piece a little bit unique in particular to me, and we're going to check out a lot of these. Uh, because uh, a buddy of mine and I were talking about how they took the rock and they worked with it. It was a mutual thing. So whatever they could get out of it best, whatever way that rock worked the best, uh, that's the way they went with it. If they left the cortex on, it wasn't going to hurt the point any. And so I want to uh, keep that in mind as I go around and show you some of these. And uh, it's going to be really cool to see them because these pieces, uh, and for those of you who just maybe haven't been collecting a whole long time, cortex is a term we use where it's the original stone uh, that's on the rock. And I'll show you, I guess, with this scraper. You, you see a sugar quartz scraper here. Well, let me pull this back and just take a look at these. And as I do, I want to say this. Uh, on the link here on this video, uh, I posted the first post on my blog where there's just some discussion points and, and writing about the North American Indian. But uh, I made a post today uh, that talks about how we can succeed better in, in finding this ancient Indian antiquity and these artifacts. And it just gives some tips and uh, some good thoughts. So follow that link and check it out. Now look at this. This here is a fantastic sugar quartz scraper. Now remember this video, it's, its foundation is cortex. Because I want to show you something. Original stone. And again, every piece here, they, they left some of it on, so that makes it particularly unique. And I know Rob and I have discussed this, but uh, this piece is completely finished. A great hide scraper, thumb scraper. What a tool. Unique with the cortex. So that's what I'm talking about in this video, and I want to show you some of these pieces. I won't touch them all, but uh, I'm going to go right around the circle, I believe. And I'll start with this here. Actually, I'll start with the black one at the bottom because this one, uh, I, I really don't find this material much in, in eastern North Carolina. Now, it's full of the cortex right down the side and right around. They didn't even mess with it too much. They left it there because of the shape, the point was taken that they needed. Very unique flint for this area. You never know. It could have come in from a long way away. It sure worked. But uh, cortex on it, not a problem. Some of them are real obvious, like this one has a lot of cortex on the surface of it, right here. Original stone, no need to do anything with it. And as we go around here, you're going to see that. And, and like I said, this, in perspective, is a collection of points that uh, I set aside because they all have cortex left on them. I mean, look at this Guilford. It just makes it unique. This is original stone, just left on there. I think it might have some on this side too. Uh, but just makes it particularly different. Every piece has got some on there. They don't clean it off all the time because they just didn't even need to. But some great pieces that feature that. So a lot of these haven't been seen at all. Uh, I didn't put a lot of these on video. Uh, if they had cortex and I liked them particularly, I put them in my little display area that I keep my cortex points. Look at these. Original stone. Just made to work. Nice. This is a great little point right here if I can get the focus working the cortex right on the top of it. To the core, right? And look at this piece. Cortex on both the front and the back of it. They had to make points that would work, first of all, and I, I often hear discussions going on, but uh, 
and this is a great Riley point, I think the sinew, I think the hafting did this, I don't think it's cortex, but particularly unique staining that comes pretty often where it was hafted. I have to believe the organic matter biodegrading over hundreds of years, if not thousands. The biodegradation was a hundred year process, but I mean, after that, uh, it still stayed in place and mineral composition changed. Look at this point. Cortex stone on it. I love this one. Cortex is right here. And you know, it just makes for a unique, different kind of point, and you get a different perspective, uh, which I love because, and you see this thing, full of cortex, but a beautiful point. They needed tools, they needed to get their food, and it didn't matter to them whatsoever. I mean, look at this beauty. That's a full riff of cortex right across the top of this Guilford. They had no need. Beauty. I mean, that thing. You can see the cortex on it. To the core. And, uh, you know, since I've really never shown these for this purpose, I thought it was a good idea to do. I mean, look at this thing. The archaic, you can see the cortex on it, right here. Great point from the archaic. Whew. Great style. That's what made it unique, is the original stone on there. And then this one, of course, from the archaic as well. Smoker all together. And that is cortex on the bottom of the base. They just did it that way, and it just worked, and they had no need to change it. I mean, when you have a business head that looks like that, Cortex here, I mean, you're ready to go. There's not a whole lot more you need to change about a point like that. Right on. Just look at that. Cortex. Gotta love it. Anyway, I guess that concludes, and that is a fantastic look at some of my prize pieces that you know, had the cortex on them. Just wanted to share that again. Check out the link. Uh, go to the, the the blog writings that I have if you're interested in deeper thoughts or, or really understanding the people behind all these artifacts. That's going to give you a good lead in. But again, really appreciate you tuning in to Indian Trace. And uh, this, this maybe will warm you up in the winter because I don't got anything going on with this ice and snow. Have a great night.